guys are finally here. What's up guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about VRO, the most immersive and realistic SWAT experience you can have in virtual reality. It is an awesome experience. And uh, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to install it. I'm going to show you what it's all about and I'm going to give you a little demonstration right now. So stay tuned. Cool. So here we are, we're in VRO. We have hands, I can point to people, I can pull over my left shoulder, take out my secondary. This is my uh, utility. I can look right up that guy's nose. <laughs> so that all works. I can pull my rifle over from my shoulder, my right shoulder. Bracket, that's all done by me. Turn on my lights or my um, laser, whatever it is I've got. Like, look at the fidelity on this. It looks just like so unbelievably realistic. So I'm going to tell the boys to post up. Cover this area. Getting into position. They're going to stack up. Unlocked. They check the door for me. I'm going to tell them. Get the door and move in. Copy. Open and clear. Let's go! Don't Hands on your head, head. now! Nothing. Get on the ground now! They have the information. Alright. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Well, that was chaotic. Go for the sidearm then. <laughs> Fucking war zone up in here. Oh, if he gave up. Don't let me die. I'm not caught. Dark here. Notifying death. Entry team to talk. You're going to move? Evidence. Good to go. Clean out. Really, really cool stuff. It is essentially a standalone VR game. And I'm going to show you how to install it now. But before we do that, just a quick word from my sponsor. Thank you. When it comes to VR, you need a gun stock if you're playing a shooter. Because if you don't have one, you're at a big disadvantage to all the people that do have one. And if you're gonna get one, get yourself a Skull VR. Oh, it's hot. Anyway, so this is the Tomahawk, and this is Skull VR's top tier flagship stock. This is my favorite stock. I use it in every shooter game that I play, and uh, it's just brilliant. I have a video on the unboxing and setting up of it, so do check the link in the description, and make sure you check the link in the description for a brilliant discount on this stock uh, if you're looking to buy one. Completely collapsible from SMG mode to pistol mode. Brilliant stock. However, with Skull VR, if you are looking for something a little bit more budget friendly, they're mid-tier stocks, the Butcher, which is an excellent stock, has the patented magnetic setup, is still customizable, but it's a little bit cheaper. And well, I used this for about two years before upgrading to the Tomahawk. So it is a very good stock. Again, link in the description for a really good discount on all the Scovia products. And also a chance to get one of my creator tags, which you can stick to your stock. Now, finally, if you are looking for something a bit lower end, they also have this, which is the smart stock. Now this is a lot less customizable. You can use the cheek wrapped here. Uh, to make it higher or lower, but apart from that, this is just the magnetic stock. Still a really good stock, still very useful, and this one has the Union Jack on it, which is pretty damn cool. Make sure you go to skullvr.com and check out their awesome stocks and products, and make sure that you use my code DEADPIXEL to get a really good discount. All right, guys, onto the guide. And it goes without saying, you are gonna need Ready or Not installed on your computer. Once you have it installed, run it at least once. 
If you run it for the first time, it might ask you to download .NET Framework 3.5. It'll automatically do it, so just push download and install this feature. Guys, please always make sure that you run this game through DirectX 11. After running it the first time, I recommend you head over to the headquarters just so that everything renders up and all the files are created. And we're going to head over to options. Now from options, there are a few things that we need to change. Now, the first thing I would do is go over to gameplay and allow modded players and also allow join modded servers. This will allow you to join servers with this mod and to join servers that have mods on them. Now, the second thing you need to change is to go over to controller and to go to aim assist intensity and change it to off. From here, you can make a few changes to the graphics if you want, but uh, personally, I do that once I join in through the mod because the VR side of the mod will not initialize until you actually start a game. The menu is still flat screen. Now, once you've done all of that, you have prepped the game for modding. We're going to head over to Nexus Mods and we're going to download the VR mod. I'm going to send a link in the description of this video, so do have a look. You are going to need a Nexus account, but guys, it's free, so don't worry. And once we've done that, we're going to go over to Steam. We are going to find our game, ready or not. We're going to right click it. We're going to go to properties and in advanced users may choose to enter modifications. We're going to copy and paste a few things here. And I'm going to explain what they are now. They're going to be in the description of the video. So we're going to be adding dash use HMD space dash no repro space dash VR tweaks space dash VR mappings. Again, this is going to be in the description of the video. All you need to do is copy and paste them. Now, if you use these commands and launch the game, it will work in VR as long as your headset is connected. However, another command I like to add is dash auto VR. And the reason why I like to add that is because all I need to do is join a game and when I get into the level, it'll automatically inject me into VR instead of me having to use the hotkey, which is the button U. Now, once we have those commands set up, we're going to go to installed files and we're going to go to browse. From this folder, we're going to select ready or not. We're going to go into content and we're going to go into packs. And this is where we're going to drop the mod. So let's go over and open our downloads folder and we're going to extract the mod we downloaded earlier. Once we've done that, we'll end up with a pack file. We can drop that over into our mods folder and we are ready to go. Now guys, once we've gone through the process of the installation, all you need to do is connect your VR headset to your computer. I would highly recommend using virtual desktop. If you want to use OpenLink, you do need to go through an open XR setup. If you want me to explain how that works, let me know in the comments and description and I'll go through that. Of course, we're going to choose DirectX 11, as I said earlier, and you're going to put, be put into the game in flat screen. And once you've gone over to the desk and chosen your map and put yourself in the game, it will load up as always. Everything will look flat screen. And then the last command that I put in that I mentioned earlier will kick in and you'll be injected into VR. And here we are. Now, guys, before we end the video, a couple mentions. There is a current bug where your hands will be stuck into the ground. Do not worry. All you need to do is push the uh, options button on your right controller and you will see your controllers in your menu. When you close it again, your hands will be back and usable. And guys, I also highly recommend that you join the VRO Discord to keep up to date with any updates which may be incoming. If you need to update, check out the latest version on Nexus and you'll just be able to drop it into your pack folder and replace the old one. I'd just like to say a big thank you to the guys over at VRO and in the Discord for all their help and hard work in making this. I think we can all agree this is pretty damn awesome. Head over to their Patreon and send them a little bit of money if you can. It'll make a massive help to developers that do things like this for gamers like us. Check out Skull VR and make sure you check out the discount code DeadPixel. And guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.